Hey y'all, real quick, because I already made three videos this week and I don't want to burn everybody out on my ugly mug, but I got, I just got home from my five week trip and I had a chance to check my mail and I got so much amazing stuff from you guys that I just wanted to do a very quick thank you video. Uh, I'm not going to mention any names in this video because I know there's some people send me things and they don't want to be called out by name, but I'm just going to, well, let me just show you uh, this amazing stuff I got. I mean, first off, I got this hat, <laughs> vintage hat from a sheet metal place in Washington, uh, and a bunch of other hats, all kinds of really cool vintage trucker hats. Uh, and I also got <laughs> the top I'm wearing along with a very sexy bottom that goes with it. <laughs> but I'm gonna turn my camera around now so I can show you uh, in detail. Oh gosh, I don't know where to start, but I don't want this video to be very long, so I'm just gonna blow through. Okay, well, first I got a bunch of camping food, you know, the kind of boil in the bag stuff I like, which is super appreciated, very useful. I also got these coffee K-cups because I got this really neat camping uh, K-cup coffee maker. I guess you pour, I mean, I'll show this in a video in the future, but you put a cake up in it and you pour water in it and some, I don't know, you push this and it somehow filters it through. Super cool. Uh, so that's, uh, I'll have a very well-stocked chuck wagon on my next trip. Look at these emergency water packets. I've never seen anything like this. They're just little packets of water. Uh, what is it? Four ounces of water. Emergency drinking water. And I guess it never goes bad because it's in this sealed packet. And it says if you're in an emergency situation... Drink no water the first 24 hours, unless you're sick or injured, or in desert conditions. But thereafter, you just drink two bags a day, minimum. So gosh, all these bags, if I keep them in my car, could keep me alive for quite a while. Okay, here's all those super amazing vintage hats. I mean, I don't, I can't show you all of them. The video will be too long, but like, look at this one. It's from uh, Orient Farms in Gerlach, Nevada, which somebody recently told me it's pronounced Gerlach, Nevada. I didn't know that, but tell me in the comments if I'm wrong. Uh, cozy hat, some really cozy clothes. Uh, I got oh, a really cool new pair of sailing binoculars. Really nice binoculars. Oh, this was a care package somebody sent me. All these items came in one package. It was just really cute. pair of binoculars, some photos of this hussy race car, colored pencils and a coloring book, a, a book of vintage homes, really cool seashell with eyeballs on it a little look at this little keychain it's got my initials on the car a little mobile gas magnet a nose plug so i don't get uh, amoeba in my nose when i'm in the hot spring and then some metamucil to keep me regular uh down here another person sent me some trail snacks and gloves oh look at this interesting field guide this is amazing it's a field guide to uh, different kinds of beer cans that you find out in the desert. And this way I can tell exactly what year they're from, which I thought was, was really interesting. There's even a field guide to pop tops too. <laughs> fascinating. This was all from somebody who also sent me a ton of fascinating books. Oh, there's Fred. Hi, Fred. Uh, so some of those books were also from the same person. It was another really cool care package. I am going to send individual thank you emails or letters to everybody who sent me stuff so if i blow over something that you sent me don't be offended i'll thank you i got a really cool uh cordless air compressor for filling my tires and blowing up my floaty i actually got two of them so i have a backup very handy i got these really cool oh here's some more handy uh, flash drives sd cards just practical stuff that i need for so i don't accidentally delete footage again uh but then i got this really cool t-shirt <laughs> From the Hard Rain Cafe up in the Olympic Peninsula. My friend that I visited up there sent me that. Got some really neat... These are campfires. Portable campfires. Basically, it's just like a big candle that you light up for, for ambiance and coziness while you're camping. And then a, uh, a little folding camp stove that you use these little camp heat canisters under. So that's super useful because I've been having issues trying to find the right kind of fuel for my camp stove. But to that end, somebody also sent me this connector valve that I guess if I put this on my camp stove, then I can connect it to, uh, to propane, regular, those regular green Coleman propane canisters and just use those. So this right here is super valuable too. Uh, I got another gift pack from somebody that sent me this awesome hand sanitizer. Maybe you touched your genitals, hand sanitizer. <laughs> and then a really cool patriotic mask, some, uh, well, some special beef jerky. 
Oh, and a birthday card. This was actually a birthday gift. I accidentally opened it uh, a week too too soon. My birthday's on the 22nd, and I didn't realize that some of these were actually birthday gifts. Oopsie. But anyway, that same package included this really cool t-shirt from the Di or the Fish Lake Raceway in Dyer, Nevada. If you've ever been to uh, Fish Lake Valley or Dyer, Nevada, it's super desolate, cool place. Now I got a shirt to wear. Uh, oops, I just knocked down these adorable little earrings. Look at these. They're little tiny flip-flops. The person who sent them to me said, I know you like flip-flops and you like earrings. How cute are those? Let's see, what else? Uh, oh, this this package was amazing. So it's a packet of, well, dude wipes. <laughs> and uh, a little GI can opener on a chain. And this is the coolest of all. It's a tiny little, kind of like a trenching shovel. So when you go do your business in the woods, you don't have to carry a big shovel. You know, it's kind of awkward. Everybody sees what you're going to do. This, you know, you just fits right in your pocket. And you just ch -ch 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 dig a hole and do your business. Love that. Oh, check this out. This is a... A uh, halo, like I have a halo bolt battery charger for my car. Like if you have a dead battery, it'll jump start your battery. Well, this is the same thing, but it's also a flashlight. So this this thing, this device holds enough power to charge a dead battery in my Toyota 4Runner. And believe me, it works because I did a, actually made a video once a couple years ago demonstrating that the, the halo that I already have does work to start a dead battery. It's an amazing product. And this flashlight will be super handy as a backup. Oh, and then somebody sent me a GoPro, another GoPro, very handy. Uh, more dog treats for Fred. And that w package was especially cute because it was addressed to Fred. <laughs> it said Fred, and then it had the address of my P.O. box. Fred, you got your favorite treats, huh? He loves those dehydr dehydrated beef livers. By the way, uh, I was gone five weeks, but Fred, you can see, is very well cared for, brushed and clean because Gloria... Uh, you remember Gloria from Uganda. She was staying here taking care of him. And she did a real good job. Oh, speaking of Gloria, she just uh, came in the door and she has something she wants to say because guess what? Uh, several people actually sent stuff for Gloria. So Gloria got some gifts. Hi, guys. Good morning to you all. Um, I actually just came into the house right now and... I find Sarah, she's um, making the video and I just wanted to take the opportunity to say thank you. Thank you so much for sending all the love because there are people out there, you sent presents to me. I felt really, really like, um, I just can't believe like, you know, you love me even before you really like, I, I mean like, you, <laughs> I, I never met any of you, but then I got these beautiful earrings. They are so beautiful and it's, Ooh, it's those one are of pretty. Sarah's fans who gave me these earrings and some sent necklaces, money. Uh, thank you all so much. And um, actually what I'm going to do with all the money I received in cash, because you didn't send it to the orphanage account like uh, most of you always donate. I'm going to buy uh, their tablets, which I, I wish to buy for the children so they can use them at home for studies in cases of corona if something like that happens continues happening yeah she found a place here in vegas where the lady is selling tablets for 25 bucks yeah there is a lady i met her on um on facebook market and she's selling each tablet at 25 dollars so with the money i received it was something like two or 200 actually that's going to buy four tablets for the children to study wow Come that's yeah. awesome okay yeah. wait before you leave i want to show everybody your cute outfit hold on look how cute gloria looks yeah. her this little green how... shorts yeah. adorable but you know what the best part is those earrings mm -hmm. the beautiful earrings came from one of sarah's fans as a present to me and I'm really, really grateful because they're, they're now the most beautiful ear, uh, earrings I have. Whoa. See, yeah, yes. So I was, I was here when she opened them and she was totally blown away by everybody's kindness. So I just wanted to say thank, thank you. Thank you. Mwah. We love you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyways, back to the rest of the stuff I got. Uh, I got, oh, some cans of fix a flat. Very handy to keep uh, around in the car on expeditions. Um, oh, some candy. Yum, yum. Oh, these are cool. Uh, a friend of mine here in Vegas actually has her own line of fitness gear, MD Fit. She's a female bodybuilder. So she sent me a bunch of these booty bands. You know, you put them around your, I guess you put them around your legs or ankles and you do like, you know, that kind of thing. 
Sorry, it's kind of hard to shoot this. But she also sent me, uh, well, she's the one who sent me this cool patriotic bikini. And look at this, water jug to remind you to drink all, this is how much water you're supposed to drink in a day, I guess. <laughs> but it's just cute, like it starts out with all these little sayings. Sorry about the light. 7 a.m., good morning. 9 a.m., let's get into it. 11 a.m., remember your water. Like basically just rem remember, uh, reminds you to drink uh, however many, what is this? I don't know how many ounces this is, but I guess this is how much water you're supposed to drink in a day. Yikes. Oh, and then speaking of drinking, look at this vintage Coke bottle. The same person who sent me a bunch of the books sent me this old Coke bottle that he personally drank back in the day. I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, oh gosh. I know I'm leaving stuff out. Oh, these boots. Unfortunately, there were some things in here that uh, didn't have names gift receipts. So somebody sent me these really cool boots, but there was no receipt. So I don't know whom to thank. Uh, same with these glasses. I don't know who sent me these patriotic glasses. I don't know who sent me the second air compressor. Uh, oh gosh, there were, I thought there was something else. I think there were some books in there that were sent with no tags. So I wasn't sure whom to thank for those, but if you're watching this, I appreciate you. And then check this out. <laughs> uh, wow, this one woman knitted me this funky winter hat. How cool is this? I'm going to love wearing this this winter. Just so kind of her to send me this stuff. Really, she sent me this cool uh, Dia de los Muertos napkins. Love that Mexican aesthetic. And oh, speaking of homemade stuff, I have one other thing. This is amazing. Look at this. <sighs> This woman in Kansas made me these beautiful little tea towels for my trailer. She embroidered a little uh, vintage trailer on it with a little magic leaf hanging from the awning. I just love this. Like, she took the time to make these for me, a stranger she's never met. You know, like, that just is really humbling to me that some stranger across the country would take the time to embroider me tea towels. So, thank you. Oh, wait, Gloria's back because she wants to show you the necklace that she got, too. Look at that. How pretty. Wow. Look at Matches your shorts, Gloria. And it matches really with the shorts. Like, I should have put this on. Yeah, Gloria, shorts. next time you go out, you got to wear them both. Yeah, like, see, the earrings. <laughs> and now the necklace. See how cute that is. Someone really knows my taste because this is really amazing. Aww. Thank you so much. Okay, and then just a couple last items. <laughs> My girlfriend, Gina, actually got me this shirt. It's so amazing. Look at it. On a dark desert highway, cool wind in my hair. But it's an alien getting... A... Well, I was going to say it's an alien getting beamed up, but I suppose it could be getting beamed down. Either way, I'm really looking forward to getting back out into the desert now that it's not so hot anymore. You know, this shirt just fires me up. And then the last thing I want to show you guys is this friggin' Life magazine. Somebody sent me this vintage... Life magazine from July 1986, and the reason they sent it to me, they had the page marked. Hopefully I can find it. Oh, here. <laughs> Look, this is the, the thing they did about the loneliest road where they named US 50 the loneliest road in America. This is the exact issue of Life magazine that coined the phrase the loneliest road, which I mentioned in my Lonely Road videos. Where they said, we warn all motorists not to drive there unless they're confident of their survival skills. And then they got this iconic shot of the highway with a, a horse rider, cowboy, crossing it. You know, like, how cool is that? Like, this person watched my US 50 Loneliest Road Trip videos and took the time to find that exact issue of Life Magazine and send it to me. Huh, I'm overwhelmed. Okay, this video is already too long, so I'm signing off now, but I just wanted to say thank you sincerely to everyone. Mwah!